rising tensions between Pakistan and Iran after a reported air attack by Tehran on Pakistani soil. Pakistan claims the strike resulted in tragic consequences. In a statement issued by Pakistan's foreign ministry, they have accused Iran of violating their airspace, leading to the death of two children and injuries to three others. The incident, which occurred late on Tuesday, has prompted Pakistan to summon Tehran's top diplomat in Islamabad. Social media reports indicate explosions in the mountainous Balochistan province, where the two countries share a nearly 1,000-kilometer-long border. Pakistan condemns this violation of its sovereignty, labeling it as completely unacceptable, with the potential for serious consequences. The Foreign Ministry's statement did not specify the exact location, but two Pakistani security officials anonymously told the Associated Press that the Iranian strikes damaged a mosque in Balochistan's Panjir district, approximately 50 kilometers inside the border. Iran's state media, however, provides a different perspective. They claim the targeted sites were two bases of the armed group Jayesh Aladel in Pakistan. Terrorist group in Pakistan have been obliterated through precision missiles and drone strikes. Also, in mid-December, the notorious Jayesh al adl known in Iran as Jayesh al dudl terrorist group stormed a police station in Sistan and Balochistan province's city of Rask, southeast of Iran, which resulted in the martyrdom of 11 Iranian police forces. Following the incident, Iranian Foreign Minister Hussein Amr Abdullahi and his Pakistani counterpart Jalil Abbas Jilani discussed ways to strengthen security cooperation between the two neighbors. Jilani also condemned the terrorist attack, describing terrorism as a common threat to Iran, Pakistan, and the wider region. As according to Iranian state media, the strikes targeted bases of Jayesh al adl the Army of Justice, a group that has been launching attacks against the Iranian border guards since 2013. Tehran utilized missiles and drones in the operation, with Press TV attributing the attack to Iran's paramilitary revolutionary guard. It's important to note that there has been no official comment from Tehran on the incident. Jayesh al adl has a history of launching attack and claiming responsibility for bombings and kidnappings along the border region. The situation is complex, with both countries frequently accusing each other of harboring armed groups. Now, this incident raises concerns about the fragile relations between Pakistan and Iran. Both nations have previously accused each other of supporting or allowing militant groups to operate from their respective territories. Pakistan emphasizes the need for coordinated action against terrorism, calling the unilateral acts by Iran incompatible with good neighborly relations and potentially damaging bilateral trust. In related developments, Iran's recent missile strikes into northern Syria and Iraq have also drawn criticism. Iraq has called these attacks a blatant violation of its sovereignty, leading to the recall of its ambassador from Tehran. We'll continue to monitor these developments and bring you the latest updates. Our thoughts are with the victims and their families affected by these incidents. Also, the head of Iran's Revolutionary Guard's Aerospace Force, Amir Ali Hajizadi, said on Tuesday, January 16, 15 missiles were fired from three Iranian provinces at targets in northern Iraq, adding the operation was successful. The attack set off an unusual row between the neighboring allies as Baghdad recalled its ambassador to Iran in protest, and Tehran insisted the salvo was intended to deter threats from Israeli spies. Iran's Revolutionary Guards hit what they called an Israeli espionage center in Iraq's semi-autonomous Kurdistan region. Iranian media reported late on Monday, January 15, while the elite force said they also struck in Syria against the Islamic State over the years. Jaysh al adel has launched numerous attacks on Iranian security forces. In December, Jaysh al adel took responsibility for an attack on a police station in Sistan, Balochistan, that claimed the lives of at least 11 police personnel, according to Al Arabiya News reporting. Sistan, Balochistan borders Afghanistan and Pakistan. The region has a history of clashes between Iran's security forces and Sunni terrorists, as well as drug smugglers, Al Arabiya News reported. The attacks in Pakistan were carried out a day after Iran's Islam. Evolutionary Guard Corps launched missiles into Iraq's Kurdistan, region at what it called an Israeli spy headquarters. 
and it alleged ISIS-linked targets in Syria, the report said.